Hoffman. Ubisoft has delayed a large game thought to be Star Wars Outlaw to the next fiscal year. Uh, the publisher noted to delay in its financial report for the first half of the fiscal year. Although it didn't specifically name the game, it's generally believed to be referring to Star Wars Outlaw, which was officially revealed earlier this year. The overperformance in Q2 and the current positive momentum of Ubisoft's brand build confidence for the rest of the year, Ubisoft statement reads. So basically, <laughs> basically Ubisoft said, um, Assassin's Creed Mirage is making more money than we thought. So we're gonna we're gonna back back a little bit. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna milk this. Yo, shout out to Fallout Wolf with the sub. We're gonna milk this, and we're gonna wait until you know the 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 momentum for Assassin's Creed Mirage dies down. Cause I did see Mirage sales were really good. Let's see, AC Mirage sales. Yeah, I'm playing Spider Man today. Da -da 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 put it put seven. AC. Uh, yeah, here we go. Assassin's Creed Mirage is Ubisoft's biggest new gen launch to date. Shout out to Fear the Deer with the sub, which is kind of like a bullshit ass statement because I think this is the first. Is this the first next gen or current gen game they've released? Was Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PS5? AC Valhalla PS5. Or was that last gen? Uh, it was. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Okay, I guess I guess they can take that statement then. So Mirage is bigger than Valhalla. That's crazy. Um, -da 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 -da. So yeah, I think what oh my fucking god, I think what happened with this is they saw how much money Mirage was making and they don't want to cannibalize themselves, so they decided to take their time with this shit. Uh, the over. Let's see. The company can therefore confirm its announced guidance of the strong top line growth. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The company decided to launch this other larger game in 24, 25, so as it may maximize its value creation. Yep. Yo, shout out to Thorn Kid with the sub. Appreciate it. Hold up, y'all. Money calling. All right, my bad. Um, what's the name? This is literally what I said, though. The company decided to launch its other game to maximize its value creation. This is fancy corporate talk, which I don't appreciate you drooling all over me, dude. Uh, fancy corporate talk for Mirage is making a lot of money, so we're going to milk this until the wheels fall off and take our time with Star Wars. No need to rush it. No need to rush it. Yeah, the money calling, the money falling. <laughs> uh, all right, what else we got? What else we got? Ooh. Might as well hop into the Feedly. Hop into the Feedly. Let's hop into the Feedly. Animal Crossing PC game with spells and vampires. That's not Animal Crossing. That's some bullshit. Batman Arkham Knight reportedly adds, then removes Robert Pattinson's Batman suit. Uh, Ubisoft's Pirate Skull and Legend of Lady. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Is this a conflicting report? Matt, this is this is um what's the word I'm looking for? This is disingenuous. You can't publish this article. It says in the financial report they didn't reveal the game. They just said they delayed one of the games, and this man put skull and bones in there. Let's see what he has to say. It's part of its latest earning. Okay, so he's talking about the same thing. Ubisoft has now yet another delay for skull and bones. Did they specifically say that though? With a beleaguered pirate adventure now expected to arrive sometime in the first few in 2024. Uh, Skull and Bones' development. Uh, 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 uh. Where's the actual report at? Maybe I stand corrected. Skull and Bones is the only. Okay, I stand correct. I take it back. I, t I apologize, Matt. I apologize, Matt. He's right. Uh, so Skull and Bones isn't the only game to see a delay in Ubisoft's latest earning report. It's mystery large game, which first appeared on its release list back in May. It was originally due to launch before the end of the fiscal year, 2024, but now it's been pushed back. The title, which is being reported to be Star Wars Outlaw. So that one was definitely pushed back again. And then there's a mystery game. And that's why people are assuming that it was Star Wars Outlaw. I don't know why he didn't put that dude didn't put that in his article. That was kind of 
Man, I hate to break it to you. This shit ain't never coming out, chat. This game sucks. This game fucking sucks. You know, you know who I feel bad for too? The developers. Cause like for the millionth time. The only reason this game keeps getting pushed back and it hasn't gotten canceled is because the Singapore government put money into Ubisoft and they said, you better make sure this game comes out. So the poor Ubisoft development team that's forced to make this shit, even though it's trash, um, they probably don't even want to make this shit, but their hands are tied because their corporate overlords, the government said, you better make that damn skull and bones, bitch. <sighs> Anybody sad? Anybody sad? Anybody sad about Skull and Bones? Delay it again? No? That's what I thought. Let's go ahead and for shits and giggles. Go ahead and put that on the uh, notes. You're sad? That's crazy. That's crazy. Skull and Bones plus mystery game delayed. Uh, I don't care about the ship combat. Then you can't put it on your portfolio as the game is the poster child. Yeah, like, would you even want that on your portfolio by the time the game comes out? Be like, oh, you you worked on that game that took 15 years to get a 5 out of 10? That's crazy. Yeah, we don't need your... You're a little too talented to work here. You're a little too talented to work here. Oh, yeah, the Alan Wake reviews came out. I don't know if y'all saw that. Freaking, I tweeted it somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here you go. 10, 10, 10, 10. Another 10. Might as well be three tens. Nines, the lowest score being an eight. Now, somebody asked me yesterday, what do you think this game is going to get? And I said, based off the eye test, it's going to get at least an eight out of 10. It looks like a good game. I didn't expect these scores. Shit. So a 93 overall on Open Critic and then an 89 on Meta. Another quality game. So if you were looking forward to this, it looks like everybody loves it. Uh, why was Spider-Man holding LeBron? It was a it was a joke picture. It was a, some AI picture. Um, what's the name posted? Saving the bees. And I just said, not even Spider-Man can save Cleveland when it's burning. By the way, uh, for all you horn dogs out there, it's been revealed Amrith is collaborating with a beer company to brew a new flavor of beer using her vaginal yeast. So if you want to taste uh, Amrith, uh, she's got a beer coming out. So, you know, shout out to uh, just, let's just go ahead and bring in the asteroid. Let's bring in the asteroid chat. Let's just bring in the asteroid. <laughs> we are now promoting biological warfare. Uh, I accidentally turned off my feed. <laughs> Yeah, the end of times. Just bring in the asteroid. Uh, let's see. Got that spot. I really wish I could get the uh, the artifact app on PC, man. I like it more than Feedly. Uh, so not only she got she's passing. None of my business. Mad frothy. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Y'all gotta fucking chill. PS5 system software update is now here. What it does. I want to see. PS5 got an update. Sony released an update for the PS5 that makes a number of changes to the console. The highlights are improvements to music and the control genre center, which according to the update notes are now much easier to use. Y'all listening to music on y'all PS5? I'm not fucking leaving. Elsewhere, there are improvements to the PlayStation VR 2 settings. Who cares? The update's a gig. So music, you can avoid unintentional broadcasting your surrounds. What are you doing, dude? You okay? What's that noise? Squeaky time? Just some PSVR shit. Who cares? Does anybody in the chat actually have a PSVR too? 